Hello everybody, as I'm in Madarian confinement because of the coronavirus, I decided to make a video to help you rig a 9.5 race board cell. So, this is the cell we have here from 2020, a team edition loft sales mast 100% 530, and the unifier with the new unifiber carbon boom. Now, I'm using a 530, although you could use a 5.5. But I like to use a slightly smaller mast because uh, in really light winds you don't need that much uh, mast. So when when you're inserting the mast, be aware that it needs to go above the, the canvas, not under the canvas. And I'm going to use this truck here to help me to help me rig. So you just come over here. You don't need to tighten it just a bit. Sorry. And this will help you on this. Now it's fixed. Now the boom. Boom, I'm using on 248, which is the, the normal setting I use for strong winds. In light winds, you can use uh, slightly smaller, but if you want to be sure, at least this is the minimum you need to use. So the new head of the boom is quite different from the old ones. Now, you notice that I have marks everywhere, so you know where to insert the boom. So you don't need to adjust later on. So the mark like this. Now this new boom is much stiffer than the old ones, a bit wider also. And uh, although I haven't tried it that much because I'm in quarantine, but this is a bit and uh, they proved to be wonderful. Now I come here and as you notice again I have this mark here, where is it? Here. And this will help me to find the correct place where to insert the block. Now as you can see there's only one pulley here and we did it in order to save as much weight as possible. You notice here also that I don't have uh, metal uh, blocks, just this ones. I actually don't know which material they're made of, ceramic maybe, but they very very light so because I have that mark I know exactly where to go there you are so yeah then this time later on here so I give as much tension as possible here and now the canvas now you notice that the canvas of these new uh, loft sails, they have these straps and they're very useful in order to avoid the camber to pop out when it's really light winds. So one piece of the, of the strap needs to be under the mast and the, the other one above, just like this. And then you just gently insert the camber and tighten it. There you are, very important. On the first camber, Second camber. Now the third one, you really don't need it because the mass sleeve is narrow, so the camber will never come out. There you are. Now you need a downhole system. I have a very light one also. It's not so easy to use, but I like it because it's very very light. I don't think you can get it much lighter than this. As you notice, I don't have uh, blocks or metal blocks again. It's the same, same system. Tighten it. There you are. Make it yes. Yeah. There you are. 
Now I usually take this out again because you need space in the pulley. As you notice, we don't have pulleys here. The same reason we needed to be, we needed the cell to be as light as possible. This is a light wind cell. Although sometimes I use it up to 20, 20 something knots, but it was designed for light wind, so you don't need that much tension when it's light. And that's why I try to reduce the weight as much as, much, as much as possible. And here you give the tension that I usually keep, it's like four of my fingers. There you are, four fingers here. Tighten. And now the strap again. There you are. Although we have these little buttons here that they, they prevent the, the cell from flopping, but this one also helps. Now you see if the cameras are correctly. Place, close the zips, and now let's see how it works. Now, this is a strong wind. As you can see, the cell is opening quite well up there. And if you idle it, this is for strong winds. Now, this little piece always comes with the sails, and this is pattern tension as you can see there's a lot of wrinkles there and you need I usually keep as much tension here when the cumbers when they don't turn anymore that's when you have too much tension and that thing that's something that you can only adjust when you're sailing but I keep a lot of tension here and these two cumbers especially these two ones because you can reach with your hand if they don't turn this one not so much because way above and you need it to, to turn by itself and the last one is you don't need that much tension just enough to remove the wrinkles this one even less just enough. there you are and as you can see free width for uh, strong winds and let's see how it works in light winds And there you are, what a beauty. See how much volume it has? This is a real beauty with light wings. I hope you enjoy it. Have fun!